We're here at the Central Florida Fair, and we're at the Dr. Phillips High School Agri-Science Department's booth. And here at the booth, they have displays of um, different vegetables growing and a veggie barrel. and some ornamental kale. And we're interviewing today Dan Dulcey with Fish to Food Aquaponics, who has put together a display for Dr. Phillips High School. And this is a, uh, Dan, why don't you tell us about the system that you've put together here? Hi, this is a uh, IBC tote um, aquaponics system. Um, okay. We actually cut the top of the toad off and um, place it on top of the fish tank and uh, we have also filled it with a new kind of media. Okay, and this is the grow bed up here. The grow bed. So at the bottom is the fish tank and let's look in there and I see some little tiny minnows or little tiny tilapia in it, right? Yep, so probably okay. a couple inches long at this point. Okay. And so what is the what have you got in there? And this, this new media is a Silesia media. Um, instead of the hydroton, it's a pH neutral media. Okay. And it's also very light. And um, it probably would do a bit, it's also very poor, so it probably would make a better um, biological filter than the hydroton. Okay, so how does it compare in price with the hydroton? It's, it's about $5 to $8 a bag cheaper, so it's actually okay. a little less expensive. Yeah, because the hydrogen can get pretty pricey Correct. when you're um, filling up a lot of beds. Okay, so tell me about the plumbing. How this? I noticed you 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 finished this off with a uh, with a PVC piping. Just just to hide the raw edges of the frame. Okay. Uh, after it's been cut, and then right. um, inside we have a spray bar um, that adds aeration for the fish, which you can see it running. Oh, out. I see. Yeah, that's cool. And then. Um, Okay, so that, that's sufficiently aerates the fish up to the bubbles. Yeah. Okay, it's, uh, and then And then um, this just adds water, runs water to the, to the um, spray bar and then water to the grow bed up here. Okay, so you use the flex, uh, flexible hose going from the pump up to, to, the the, to the plumbing. And I believe you said you plumb this so that they can remove the grow bed, which is this, from with this, uh, okay. this right here just screws apart. Yeah. And then you have three valves on there. Tell us what those are for. They're just for fine adjusting the water flow. Which to the grow bed, these two are to the grow bed. Right. And what about that one? That's that, for the that controls the spray water bar. To the spray bar, correct. Okay, so as long as the pump is running, there's the aeration. And here's the water coming into the grow bed. Okay. And, and so you have a bill siphon. Tell us about that. And the bill siphon is, is down here. In the okay, door. this is the new kind of bill siphon, right? Yes, it has the, the top of the stand pipe is um, actually flared in order to aid in the uh, Bernelli effect, so to help it um, start and stop. Okay, so this is the Bernelli bill siphon that you're using. Yes. That's very cool. So it. The top, you flared out the top of the PVC, and that acts like it causes the water to go down in sort of a um, Swirling action. tornado yeah. type action, and that makes it uh, go down faster and cause the siphon to start and stop start easier. And, stop. and in case uh, you don't know what a bell siphon is, a bell siphon is a non mechanical device that. Um, causes the water level to rise and fall in the grow bed. And that's very important because the water, um, uh, you don't want to keep water on the roots all the time. Correct. Um, so, um, and it adds aeration to the roots of the plant. So basically you only have one mechanical device in this system, which is the pump. You've eliminated a timer by using 
the Bell siphon and you've eliminated an aerator by using a spray ball. Correct. And this is a, a 275 gallon tote. You can get these uh, relatively inexpensively. And oh, what is this slack thing here? Oh, um, this was just a plastic pallet that I cut the, the uh, feet off of it, and it makes a great base that won't rot for the grow bed to sit on top of the frame. Okay, so you just use that, and it looks like you've uh, tag tied it to the thing to make it all very stable. Some heavy duty tag tied so. Okay, well, it looks really good, and uh, thanks very much, Dan. This is Fish to Food Aquaponics. Thanks for joining us.